Hello everybody, this is a um, daily light language transmission. I'm doing a series of these as I um, feel I have been connecting with my guides in the night and I wake in the morning with the light language wanting to be shared. Um, it appears to be a series on um, soul connection, soul partnership, twin flames. Um, so this morning I woke up with um, the King of Water from the Good Tarot deck. Um, so I've used these images in this. So we're starting with the King of Water. Um, and then we will um, shift into the feminine aspect and then the partnership. Um, the King of Water is generous, diplomatic, fair, gentle, a good listener, non-judgmental, peacemaker and a mediator. I honour and respect all beings, including myself, and see the commonalities we share and the spirit that is in all of us. I listen to other voices and blend them with my own wisdom before settling on an opinion, making a decision or taking an action. I gently and lovingly lead others away from fear and divisiveness and into harmonious collaboration. This is a truly evolved divine masculine. This is the divine masculine energy. Um, it is the divine masculine energy that's in all of us. Um, so let's see what the guides want to bring through around that. Uh, it's going to start with some light language, so uh, just relax get in a safe space open your heart and allow the sounds to move over you and speak to the parts of you that they need to speak to on all levels <laughs> So I was feeling a um, really strong release of traumas and experiences from from the historic wounded masculine um, that uh, takes them into fight or flight or protection um, of self instead of service to the whole and, and the understanding of unity and that we're all connected and so there was a clearing through the solar plexus and the lower chakras survival level chakras um which is in all of us but expressed primarily through the wounded masculine um then there was a um a connection to his divine feminine within him but also his divine feminine counterpart 
um, through the third eye, um, sharing information, sharing experiences um, telepathically, and then um, an activation of his soul purpose through his um, mid tan tien in the thymus area between the heart and the throat. Um, I can feel the energy, uh, the golden energy coming out of my hands and I can see it coming out of his hand towards that fish in the image um, as he's communing with the fish um, from a, a place of unity, a perspective of unity and wonder and love. Um, so also felt his heart expand and open wide and this strong desire coming from within him from his soul to share to give to bless to love others um, especially his divine counterpart so now we're moving over to the feminine The Queen of Water. This is the same with the Queen of Cups, Cups in the traditional tarot. Compassion, emotional security, generosity, self-love and self-care. Healer. I'm comfortable in my own skin. I love, cherish and nurture myself. I'm the best friend to myself. My relationships with others reflect my security in knowing I'm always worthy of love and respect. I heal myself so I can be the change I want to see in the world and so my compassion can inspire others. Again, very much the Divine Feminine. So let's see, she's received that communication through the third eye from the masculine. She's received the healing he's just had also. いさかとこちこそとかばあくちこてかあくそとこおことこおことこおとことこおとことこおとことこおとことこおとことこおとことこおとことこおとことこおとことこおとことこおとことこおとことこおとことこおとことこおとことこおとことこおとことこおとことこ
through the unity of the twin flames or the um, uh, perfectly balanced divine masculine and feminine. Um, so it's like the holy trinity. It's like the child of their hearts or of their souls or of their divine mission rather than the child of their flesh, although it can be a child of flesh as well. Um, so it's like um, it's like Mary and Joseph and the Christ, except um, the Christ is what we're all shifting to within our own hearts. We're all moving into Christed consciousness through um, higher relationship and um, divine relationship, divine love, um, unity, kindness, respect for all beings. Uh, there's also a dissolving of tra- tra- traditional roles that were needed um, in a survival level um, consciousness, a 3D consciousness. So um, it's much more of a unity and a co-creation instead of individual masculine and feminine roles. I'm feeling those uh, merged divine masculine and feminine energies come into embodiment, seeing it as gold, very alive, uh, uh, dynamic, but peaceful and loving and knowing this intelligence in them uh, coming into the physical body especially the legs uh, the legs that move you forward on your path and your shoulders that carry your burdens and your hands that create uh, that that undertake your activities you're giving you receiving your doing in the world um, and I'm feeling a shift through the uh, the cells of the brain um, as it uh, creates from a different level of consciousness um, and perceives from a different level of consciousness and moves you from a different level of consciousness. So that feels like it's uh, going to have a really big um, shift, especially through the solar plexus as we move away from um, survival level consciousness and into divine love consciousness. So it may take a few days. So you may even have some aches and pains in your physical body. Just uh, make sure you rest and don't take medicines to relieve the pain just allow them to come up and come out knowing that they're moving through you and they're not of you they're they're actually releasing they're walking out the door 
Um, so you send them with love and thank them for the role that they've had, which they you have needed <laughs> um, until now, and uh, drink a lot of water to help it move through. Listen to your body if you need to rest, rest. If you need to down tools, down tools, just uh, listen to your body, take the time to allow that to integrate, move you, move you the way you need to be moved. <laughs> okay, take care, blessings.